With some of his holiday shopping done, President Obama may be getting a gift from some Republicans. Republicans who signed a pledge never to raise taxes. This morning on ABC, a leading senator. I will violate the pledge, long story short, for the good of the country, only if Democrats will do entitlement reform. And Senator Saxby Chambliss also says he won't necessarily abide by the pledge. Support from a vocal Republican House member, too. I agree entirely with Saxby Chambliss. A pledge you signed 20 years ago, 18 years ago, is for that Congress. The world has changed, and the economic situation is different. They are talking about this man's pledge. Americans for Tax Reform President Grover Norquist, who has gotten hundreds of Republicans to sign. Do you feel like you and your pledge are under assault? No. What the pledge does, of course, is allows elected officials to make it clear openly to the, their voters where they stand. Are they going to be with reforming government or raising taxes to continue more of the same? Norquist's threat? That he will help fund Republican campaign challenges against any member of Congress that violates the pledge. So what I think I hear you saying is, we won't go over the cliff. I think that we'll continue the tax cuts, uh, the, the not raise taxes $500 billion. While Norquist tries to keep Republicans in line. And protecting Medicare, Medicaid, and education from cuts. Major unions have already spent $300,000 targeting Democrats, hoping to stop any cuts to entitlement programs.